Hi, welcome to our Pharma Topics channel. Our topic of discussion is bronchodilators. See, the bronchial tone uh, is influenced by several uh, neurotransmitters and inflammatory mediators in um, asthma and COPD. One among them is acetylcholine, and the next one is uh, adenosine, which can cause uh, bronchoconstriction. So there is uh, a pathway through cyclic AMP which can cause bronco relaxation. The bronco relaxation uh, can be uh, ensured with uh, beta 2 agonists which activates adenyl cyclase and increases cyclic AMP or through methylxanthine such as theophylline which inhibits the phosphodiesterase and increases the half-life of a cyclic AMP and both of them can lead to bronchodilation. So apart from this, muscarinic antagonists are available as bronchodilators and theophylline has additional action on blocking the adenosine receptors that ensues anti-inflammatory effect. All these things lead to bronchodilation. Usually the bronchodilators ensure it, uh, better breathing and it, these bronchodilators are available as inhalers, uh, nebulizers and rotahalers. Let us see the mechanism of action of these uh, bronchodilators. One is uh, the reduction in the beta 2 receptor activation. Actually beta 2 receptors uh, cause activation of uh, GS subunit of uh, the G protein coupled receptors that activates adenyl cyclase form second messenger cyclic AMP that can activate a phosphokinase A which can cause bronco relaxation. But this pathway is reduced in COPD and asthma and another pathway is uh, acetylcholine uh, which is acting through M3 receptors of the parasympathetic nervous system that causes uh, activation of uh, G protein coupled receptors. GQ subunit is activated forms a different uh, second messenger such as uh, diacylglycerol, IP3 and uh, calcium. All these things can lead to bronchoconstrictions. So the bronchodilators, how they work? So one is activation of the beta 2 receptors through the beta 2 agonists. And the next one is uh, blocking the acetylcholine uh, receptors that is M3 receptors via muscarinic uh, antagonists. And the next one is uh, extension of the half-life of uh, cyclic AMP by use of phosphodiesterase inhibitors such as uh, methylxanthines or PDE4 inhibitors. So all these things uh, can improve the airway breathing that can lead to bronchodilation. So a small, very small nutshell information of the bronchodilators. What are the drugs used? I hope it will be useful for you. Thank you for listening. Happy learning. Kindly share this to more of your friends. Uh, kindly go through the other videos, a sequence of videos which are related to the respiratory tract which is available in the Pharma Topics channel. Kindly subscribe and enjoy it. Thank you.